So we just learned what an improper fraction or a mixed number were in the last video. Now we're going to be talking about how to change in between them. So if you've missed or skipped any previous videos, you might become lost or confused. So check this video's description or go to the GED Math playlist, okay? A mixed number is a whole number with a fraction. So we have two-thirds, so that's a fraction. But if we put a whole number with it, now it's a mixed number. It's one and two-thirds. Mixed numbers show a fraction that is more than one. We have this rectangle split into three equal parts and this rectangle split into three equal parts. We have three-thirds that are shaded, so that's the whole thing is shaded. We have one whole. And we have two-thirds that are shaded. The one whole plus the two-thirds is one and two-thirds. We can also look at this as the three-thirds plus the two-thirds equals five-thirds. We're going to get more into addition in the future videos coming up. So one and two-thirds is the same thing as five-thirds. What we did was, for the one and two-thirds, we took this big one and we multiplied it by the denominator. One times three is three. We added the two. Three plus two is five. And we used that denominator and it got us five-thirds. One plus three plus, one times three plus two is five and we use the denominator that's already there. So we have five-thirds, all right? We'll show you some more. So remember, we have a numerator, a denominator, and it's separated by a fraction bar, and one-fourth would be one of four equal parts are shaded, okay? So here we have three different bars. We have this one, this one, and this one, and each bar is separated into fourths. Four-fourths of this one is shaded, so that means one whole bar is shaded. Four-fourths of this one is shaded, so the whole bar is shaded, and only one out of the four equal parts is shaded for that one. So we have a one and a one, that's two, and one-fourth are shaded. We can also look at it as this four-fourths plus this four-fourths plus this one-fourth is nine-fourths. We add the numerators going straight across. Four plus four plus one is a nine, and when the denominators are the same, we just slide it across, see? But we're going to get more into adding fractions coming up. So nine are shaded, nine-fourths are shaded. So two and one-fourth is the same thing as nine-fourths. It represents the same amount. Now here's the difference when we have one whole bar separated into twelfths, okay? Because look at this one. We have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve equal parts, right? Well, we have 12 equal parts here, but this one has 9 twelfths shaded. The reason this is 9 twelfths and this is 2 and 1 fourth or 9 fourths is because this is one whole bar. This was three separate bars, see? So when the objects are separated like this, you count how many equal groups are in one of them. When it's one whole thing, one whole bar, then you count how many are shaded out of how many equal groups. That's 9 twelfths. When we have more than one object split into equal parts, we count the equal parts of one of them to determine the denominator. When we have one object split into equal parts, we count the equal parts to determine the denominator. Because this is one big bar, it's 9 twelfths. Because this is three smaller bars that are split into four equal groups each, the denominator is a four. See that? Now, this little owl said this before, fractions are just little division problems, and I say it all the time because that's going to help you in algebra. Fractions are little division problems. We look at this fraction bar as a division symbol. Seven halves is equal to seven divided by two. How many times can two fit into seven? Three. 2 times 3 is 6. We subtract the 6. We have 1 left over. And this quotient is the whole number 3. And this 1 remainder is the numerator. And that 2 is the denominator. Look at that. Let's try this again. 15 fifths. What we do is 15 divided by 5. 15, fraction bar is divided by 5. How many times can 5 fit into 15? 3. 
We do the multiplication. We subtract the 15. We get 0. So the remainder is 0. So the answer is just 3. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 15 fifths is equal to 3 whole. Try it again. We have 14 fifths now. 14 divided by 5, that's what that means. How many times can 5 fit into 14? 2. 5 times 2 is 10. We do the subtraction, whoops, and we get 4 left over. So our answer is 2 as our whole number, that's the quotient, and our fraction is the remainder on top of the divisor. See that? So we have 2 and 4 fifths. 4 fifths. Now, I have a long division with one, two, three digit divisor video that I'm going to have linked in this description. This is explained about the remainder and the divisor and turning it into a fraction. It's explained actually in that video. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're going to want to watch that because it's really going to help you with long division and it's going to help you with this remainder is a fraction part, okay? So if it says change to an improper fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to do our little counterclockwise circle. 5 and 2 thirds is equal to 17 thirds. We do 5 times 3, which is 15, and then we add the 2 and get a 17, and then we use that denominator, so it's 17 thirds. Now here the denominator is an 8, so that's the denominator we're going to use is the improper fraction. 10 times 8 is 80, plus that 7 is 87. We have 87 eighths. It just goes around counterclockwise, see? Multiply, then add. Multiply, then add, and use that denominator. If we need to change it to a mixed number, 21 fourteenths, how many times can 14 fit into 21? It's 21 divided by 14. One time. We subtract that 14, and we get a 7 left over, so our answer, our mixed number is a 1, because that's the quotient, and... The remainder is our numerator, 7, and our 14 is our denominator, the divisor. See? Let's do it again. We have 20 fifths. 20 divided by 5. How many times can 5 fit into 20? 4. There's no remainder, so the answer is 4. 20 fifths is equal to 4. 19 fifths, well, now we will have a remainder because it won't fit in evenly. 19 divided by 5. 5 goes into 19 three times, so our whole number is going to be a 3, and our fraction is going to be the 4 as the numerator that is left over, and the 5 will be the denominator. We have 3 and 4 fifths. See? So watch this video if you haven't seen it. There's going to be a link in the description, okay? So now you should be ready to do the GED skill focus on page 73. If you don't have any problems and you seem to answer them all fine without any trouble, then move on to the next lesson, okay? Okay, our next video is going to be about fraction word problems, and it's choosing the operation, Lesson 5C. If you have any problems and you need more help, there's going to be a link to Grade 3 Math for Chapter 9. It talks all about fractions and equivalent fractions, and the Grade 4 Math, all of Chapter 7, is going to help you with fractions and equivalent fractions and improper and mixed numbers, and... The previous video, 5A, will help you, and that link to that long division with one, two, three digit divisors, okay? So you should be all right. Hit the like button if I've helped you, and I'll see you next video. And let's see if we can solve some of these fraction word problems, all right? I'll see you there. Bye.